Hey everyone, it's Dinah and we are here for the newest Marvel trailer released uh, this week and that is for Captain America Brave New World. It, I think it was I think it was originally called New World Order. I, I, I don't know if it was just with this trailer or before that they renamed it. But I think I, I think to begin with it was called um, New World Order and I think also originally Bucky was meant to be a part of it but now he's actually not because I think he's in Thunderbolts now so I don't know if maybe they just couldn't do two in one like because of scheduling or whatever but either way it was, it was originally called called New World Order, uh, and now it's called Brave New World. So, yeah, this, I think, has been long-awaited um, in spite of the obvious and glaring kind of controversy, um, con controversies, controversy, maybe singular, um, kind of towering over it like a dark cloud and everything. So, yeah, but I, I am, for one thing, incredibly excited to, 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 incredibly excited to see more of Sam as Captain America, to see Anthony as Sam as Captain America, to see how he kind of continues fitting into the role after the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I think, but, but I think it, it, it might actually be more inter interesting to see exactly how Sam gets on without Bucky by his side too. Like, like if maybe, you know, because I think we know that Thunderbolt Ross is meant to be in this too, so I don't know if maybe he kind of did like take Bucky out deliberately like for one thing to have him in the Thunderbolts but then for another thing to see how Sam might fare on his own or something like that you know but either way I think it's going to be an interesting an interesting continuation of all the things that happened after Falcon and the Soldier to see how kind of you know Sam kind of continues being in, in being Captain America in a world like this and how he gets on and you know if he kind of does gain any new allies and what other kind of new adversaries he faces too so yeah it should be fun so the, the thing this is the first official kind of this is i don't know if this is a teaser trailer or if this is actually like an actual trailer trailer but either way we have a new trailer so let's see what's in store wilson thanks for coming in oh Thank yeah and he advice, sir. Yeah. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. Yeah, Harrison Ford is Ross. You and yeah. I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. Oh. And if we disagree on how to manage a situation, then what happens? Giancarlo! Work with me, Sam. Pretty sure that was Giancarlo Esposito, right? We'll show the world a better way forward. Yeah, but, but I think, yeah, Torres. Torres, oh shit. Isaiah? Wait, Isaiah Bradley's in this? Okay. Sir, your inner circle's been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't. Oh work. shit. Oh yeah, Torres is back, yeah. What if it's a trap? Oh, oh damn. Oh. Was that a scroll? You're just a pawn. Was that a scroll? Oh, come on, Cap. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. No, he's Sam fucking Wilson. Oh. oh, that was a good transition. You're right. I'm not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Captain America. Mm hmm. Was that Falcon next to him? Was that Falcon next to him? Oh shit! Oh, Red Hulk! Oh, they showed us Red Hulk! Okay! 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 We have Red Hulk! We officially have Red Hulk! So, I mean, Thunderbolt Ross being in this, I feel like that did kind of maybe kind of hint towards Red Hulk being in this. But, I mean, we have Red Hulk in this, and he just, he just threw, he just, he, he threw the shield out, he just wedged it into the fucking ground. So, I feel like that's a pretty good display of the strength that, that, that he actually has here. So, I think, I don't know if that means we're actually going to get a Red Hulk versus Captain America, or, you know, like, like how that's going to go. I mean, then, like, at least one of them will be in the air and able to fight like i mean but i mean red hulk is a hulk and hulks can jump pretty damn high so <laughs> not that being in the air exclusively is really gonna do much for him but um but yeah no i think isaiah just just attacked i think two or three people and then he tried he, he actually directly tried to shoot ross through the glass and everything which he i mean he maybe missed or maybe the glass was bulletproof or something i don't know but i mean at this point i'd be surprised if literally every window that um ross walks by isn't bulletproof in some way you know like the the world and the times they live in and everything so i take it then isaiah's on the run you know so he, he must be like he, he literally flew, he, flew, he flung himself out of a window right after the fact so i guess he must be on the run now and 
and God knows what that what that's what, what that's going to do because the Falcon and the Winter Soldier literally ended with him well, with Sam arranging for Isaiah to get his own museum exhibit that told his story and actually uncovered his truth and his past and everything and now they've got Isaiah committing you know political treason um, essentially and then going on the run so God knows what, what's that, what that's going to do to him or I think his um. I don't know if it was his grandson or his nephew or someone like those. Those like the 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 kid that um lived with him <coughs> in Falcon and Winter Soldier and everything. I think he he was he was meant to be on the on the, on the Young Avengers as well. Like he was he was an actual future Young Avengers member and everything. So but yeah, we have Harrison Ford in the MCU, which I think I think maybe people kind of did kind of you know kind of think about different ways that could happen. But until and I think um, until the original actor for Thunderbolt Ross died, I think people then didn't really kind of have like a, like a definitive kind of place for him to really step into. But now um, Harrison Ford would make a great Thunderbolt Ross and everything, and even seeing him as Red Hulk could be good too. But admittedly, I haven't seen much, if at all, of his work outside of um, thing yeah, outside of like um, Indiana Jones or Star Wars or anything like that. So I think um, stuff like this that's more grounded, much more human, and kind of with little to, little to no elements of fantasy or mysticism or magic or any of that kind of stuff like I don't, I don't know like um like like how he's fed in those kinds of projects exclusively I think I think he was in a movie I think called Air Force One I believe I think that that's actually I've seen that um not I th- I've not seen the movie but I think I think I, I've seen that show, show, show up in my recommended because I've watched Star Wars on Disney Plus I think that actually showed up in my recommended a few times so I think that I think um is one I actually want to really give give like a watch to Based on how he's treated, like um, it, it, at least in in good jest and everything, like like how he's treated Star Wars and it's like lore and all that kind of stuff that he genuinely, I don't think he really kind of cares about um to 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 much extent. Um, I I'm kind of curious like um how he handles being the Red Hulk as well, you know, like if 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 he knows what it is or like if he knows how the the Hulk stuff works. I mean, if he doesn't, then it, it's not an issue. But you know, like um knowing like how nonchalantly he kind of dismisses kind of Star Wars lore and those kinds of questions he gets. In interviews i'm kind of curious to see how like he handles being asked like oh what was it like being the red hulk like what serum did red hulk take or how did you do this that and the other like just just because he's seeing how harrison ford responds to that stuff i think is going to be a highlight of the actual press tour and everything um and we had Joaquin Torres back too. Yeah, we have Joaquin Torres back, and I'm pretty sure we saw when we saw Cap flying towards the end. I think yeah, that is him. That is, I think I'm pretty sure that's Falcon right beside me. I was like, I could have sworn I saw something flying next to him just for like a split second. So yeah, we, we, we do know like in, in Falcon and the Soldier after John Walker had like um, destroyed his old wingsuit, I think Sam did kind of pass that down to 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 Joaquin as well. So now he is going to be the new Falcon, I think, just like in the comics. So we have Captain America and we have the Falcon again. So yeah, really cool to see him getting like a more kind of feature length kind of um prominency in the story and, and everything in, in the universe actually hopefully building up his character to be like a very worthy kind of sidekick of his own right and everything as well so really cool to see Joaquin Torres back maybe with Bucky out of the picture too maybe kind of gives kind of Joaquin like a m- m- more space to stand strong and actually be his own character as opposed to like um, just like a one-off ally like, like a one-off kind of contact that Sam might have to reach out to in this movie um in in these events and everything too so and I think very similar to the Winter Soldier 2, it's actually good to see Sam kind of in civilian clothing or like in a more civilian, perhaps incognito get up and holding the shield too. Because I think I think Steve did like a lot of that in um, in the Winter Soldier with Nat too, w- 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 when Shield um, fell and he was on the run with Nat. I think they both had to kind of don incognito looks, but then Steve still kept the shield. And seeing him in a civilian in civilian clothes with the shield is honestly such a great upgrade. Like that and the stealth suit, the stealth suit and civilian Steve with the shield were were, were, were two great looks that Steve had in the Winter Soldier so seeing them giving Sam the same treatment because I think this I think Falcon Winter Soldier I think definitely can pretty much be um like certified as like um, an actual Captain America origin story for Sam Wilson so now this being the sequel where for one thing he actually properly gets to be Captain America but then he also actually does have to be Captain America in like a situation and in a world that really needs him to be Captain America to lead the fight to find out what's going on to face these enemies and to you know brave the new world roll credits and everything it's good to see them kind of giving him the same kind of like um leeway and the freedom to actually be Cap in a way that you know um does make sense um for him just 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 as just as much as it did for Steve as well. So and then yeah, I think um Ross had that line towards um towards Sam where, 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 where he was like you know you may be Captain America but you're not Steve Rogers and then Sam just has to 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 to, to be stern and to be headstrong in his like yeah you know what I'm not I'm not Steve Rogers but Steve's you know Steve 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 gave him the shield explicitly. 
for a reason because he believed that Captain America needed to be more than just a perfect soldier or even a good soldier. He needed to be a good man, and that's exactly what Sam is. I think I think they pushed enough of that in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, like people disagreeing with Sam being Captain America for the obvious reasons, but then also Sam kind of fighting to feel like maybe he's earned the right or feel like he should be Captain America and everything. And by the end of the season, he did. So I'm hoping with this movie, they actually do let him be Captain America and let him like believe that he himself is Captain America and that he deserves to be Captain America and not just kind of like still keep pushing that whole mantra of like, oh, should he be Captain America? Is he the real one? Does the world still see him as that? You know, um, like let him be Captain America, let him save the world, let him fight for what's right and kind of, you know, lead the people and everything. So I'm pretty sure we saw a scroll at some point too. I think it was after Isaiah shot um, at Ross, I think. This reminds me of... Um, Especially with the chair there, this reminds me of like um, in Winter Soldier where Hydra was torturing and brainwashing Bucky. This like reminds me a lot of that. So I don't know if like um, again the Winter Soldier feels from the trailer alone are really strong and really kind of you know um, yeah. Because I, I wonder if like because um, we saw the scroll too. I think where was this? I'm trying to find the scroll. Where was the scroll? There was someone on, on like a phone or something, and they had a green head. <laughs> yeah, I'm pr that, that that's a pretty green looking head. I'm pretty sure. That's also a scroll, so um, also probably probably my hint to actually go ahead and, and, and get my ass on to watching Secret Invasion too, because then like, presumably that's also going to play some part of a role in it. I, I don't know if we're going to have Maria or um, Fury in this. Um, you know, like, I think, you know, like, I, don't, I don't know if, 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 if Fury or Maria. I mean, because I think, I still, I, I mean, I don't know. I think, I'm, I, I think the Marvels took place before Secret Invasion, presumably. Um, so then Secret Invasion will take place after the Marvels. So I've, I've watched the Marvels and I loved it to bits. Um, but Secret Invasion I haven't watched. So I, don't, I don't know if, he, if, either, if, 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 if either of them actually managed to survive Secret Invasion or what happened. But um, assuming they did, I, I, I don't know if, if, if maybe they, they might be more of like an actual secret kind of cameo for this one, warning Sam ahead of time that like um, scrolls have, have invaded or something, or scrolls, or like maybe if scrolls were behind it. Maybe if Isaiah wasn't even Isaiah, maybe if he was a scroll or something, you know, because then scrolls definitely have super strength and everything too. So yeah, maybe if he was a scroll and, then, and they're trying to assassinate the president and take over or something like that, you know, I think that them saying like you know, them calling it a brave new world, this is a brave new world with all sorts of different, you know, like you literally, with the powers at play, you literally don't know what the fuck is going to happen or when it's going to happen. Anyone could try and take over by any means necessary at any point in time. With, with the Winter Soldier, that was still like Hydra was still like a, like a human organization that that was trying to, you know, uproot like another human organization and take over the world and everything. But now, with everything we've had since then, aliens could be trying to cosplay as humans and then trying to take over the world and taking over political kind of you know positions of power and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Brave new. I think. Brave Brave New World, I think New World Order like does sound cool, but I think Brave New World also kind of like is like a much more kind of you know like it it, it does kind of kind of light up the road ahead like I mean in like a lot more different ways than New World Order does. So this or oh, this looks like a funeral. This looks like a funeral. I don't know what I think. I don't know why they're having a funeral. Did Steve die? I think it's Steve. It's, it's, it, I think it's, it, it, there's a flag over that 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 casket as well. So I don't know if like. I don't know if they're if they're gonna kill off. So I don't know if they're gonna pull off like um if they're gonna kill him off like um like they killed Peggy off because I think Peggy's one had like a flag over her casket I think or I don't know did it I don't know maybe but unless they're they're, they're, they're gonna give him the Peggy treatment as well and actually kind of you know because they're they're also firing rifles too and and Steve kind of being the actual um the well known kind of um American hero and everything they they they're, they're giving him that kind of funeral so yeah this suit I think that's still red white and blue that looks like it could be a stealth suit I'm I'm going to say it. that looks like it actually could be a stealth suit um if it is it looks just as sexy as Steve's did I'm not going to lie it looks just as good this looks great this looks great apart from that one glaring issue um that still for some reason for some reason they decided to keep in the movie um besides from that one glaring issue um, you know, uh, it, it, it looks like it, it looks honestly like, like a really great time. The action looks great. The the story honestly seems like it like like they they've really put like some work into it and everything. And seems like it, it, if it's a, if it's something like Winter Soldier, it could really kind of change the um the, the the pace of the of the journey ahead and change directions for the journey ahead and everything like that so, too. So I mean, cause, I mean to begin with, like the first one was Shield has fallen, and now the Avengers are like their own private kind of militia essentially, their private own private organization. 
and and everything, and then that leads into civil war. But now it's like maybe if the U.S. government for if if they, if, they, if, they, if they pull like a like um like, like Marvel's version of of, of of Olympus has fallen, if if the U.S. government as a whole has to collapse and everything, then that's gonna that's gonna throw everything into disarray. And I don't know if that might lead into civil war two or something, you know. But I don't know. It it, it it looks like it's gonna be crazy. And now even the president actually becoming a Hulk after trying to take down the Hulk for so long, the president himself actually becomes a Hulk of his own. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna pull this one off. But Young Carlo is in this too as well. So I'm, I'm really curious, curious, I'm really curious, curious to see who he's gonna play and how much of a role he's gonna play into this and everything too. So it should be cool. It should be cool. So yeah, that was my official reaction for Captain America: Brave New World. So thank you guys as always so much for being here and for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then feel feel free to leave a like and comment on what you thought of the trailer, what you thought of the trailer, and what you're looking forward to in this movie and who you're who, who you're hoping to see and everything. Um, and 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 what you think the story might be and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So until the next time, bye bye for now.